Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today I'm going to be talking about the shape tool and how to edit your shapes. This is pretty much essential, so let's get started. I've got a blank document here. I'm going to go ahead and select the shape tool. And as you can see, I've got quite a few options of shapes to select from. We're going to start out with the rectangle tool. And I'm going to show you guys, first of all, how to edit the properties of the shape tool. So as you can see, there's a little arrow here and I have quite a few options. We're going to start with unconstrained. Now what unconstrained means is it means that you're going to be able to do whatever you want with the shape tool, rectangle, square, whatever, whatever you want. The uh, next one is square, which is going to keep it as a square, so you're not going to be able to make a rectangle, just a square. And the next two are fixed size and proportional. Now I'm, I'm guessing you guys can figure out what those do on your own, so I won't go into explaining that. Uh, Next up, we're going to take a look at the Custom Shape Tool, which is a bit more interesting. What the Custom Shape Tool is, basically, is a bunch of shapes in one. As you can see, I've got the uh, Custom Shape Tool menu here, and uh, whatever is selected here is going to be what the Custom Shape Tool is going to create. So you've got a blade of grass, you've got a light bulb, a uh, letter, quite a few options, very cool. So I definitely expend, uh, uh, recommend experimenting with that while experimenting with the Shape Tool. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and create a square here, right in the center of our document. And uh, next up, I'm going to show you guys how to edit these shapes, which is also very simple and very creative. So basically, all we're going to do is go to Edit, go to Transform Path, and as you can see, I've got all my options here. We're going to start out with a Scale. Scale does what its name implies. It's going to edit the scale of your shape. Now, as you can see, while I'm editing the, the uh, scale, it's going to change the uh, proportions. Now, sometimes you're not going to want that. There's a very simple way to avoid it. All you have to do is hold shift while editing the scale, and it's going to keep the proportional value no matter how large or small you're going to make your shape. Very useful tip when uh, learning about the shape tool. Okay, next up we're going to take a look at rotate, which also does what its name implies, rotates the shape. Uh, not too much to say about that. Uh, next up we're going to take a look at screw, which basically just screws the angles of your shape. Uh, very useful for creating some, you know, wacky, cool shapes. Whatever you have in mind, it can do. Uh, next up we'll take a look at uh, distort, which is much like the uh, screw shape except more uh, fluid, I suppose you could say. You could do, uh, again, crazy shapes, whatever you had in mind. And uh, next, we'll take a look at perspective, which basically just you know you can create some cool cool perspectives like you know as if it's an on an angle of some kind. Again, very cool tool, very useful. Last but certainly not least is the warp tool. This is the uh, my my personal favorite tool. Uh, as you can see, by just dragging these anchor points, I suppose you could call them around the uh, document, I'm uh, editing the shape. Very, very cool tool. You can get really creative with it. Uh, definitely recommend playing around with that when uh, first trying out the uh, shape tool because it's, it's really great. Create some awesome logos, whatever you had in mind, with editing the uh, shape using the warp function. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Uh, next up, I'm going to be talking about how to uh, add uh, cool effects to your shapes. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Comment, rate, subscribe. Hope you find this useful.